In order to test the effects of an incapacitating drug under field conditions, a simple exercise was devised. The troops were given the same quantity of water to drink before each day's exercise. Unknown to the troops, the drug was added to the water on the second day. The drug was given orally to the men in the hospital ward at 11.15. And they immediately embussed, arriving at the exercise area ten minutes later. At 11.40, the first effects of the drug make their appearance. The men no longer take cover, they relax and begin to giggle. At this time, one man is more severely affected than the others, losing all contact with reality, dropping his rifle and becoming unable to take any part in the operation. In fact, he has to be withdrawn from the exercise a few minutes later. Section 2 starts to advance to Redwood. The troops have lost their air of urgency and many men are laughing. Meanwhile, radio communication at the beaches has become difficult if not impossible. Men with no specific task to perform have relapsed into laughter and inconsequential behavior, though they are still capable of sustained physical effort. This man nearly succeeded in felling this tree using only a spade. Seventy minutes after the administration of the drug, with one man climbing a tree, the troop commander gives up, saying, I cannot do anything about this. I cannot control the men and I can take no action myself. I am wiped out as an attacking force.